yeah, this one, this is gold. What's going on guys? My name is David Tomic and welcome back to the channel. Today in 2021, I'm a registered architect in the state of Western Australia and I have a pretty good idea of what architects do from a day-to-day -day basis. So today we're going to be looking at stock photos of what the world perceives to be an architect. Now I've seen some of these come through already and some of them are quite hilarious. Some of them are pretty close to what we do, but let's go through them one by one. So the first photo is pretty much on the money, which is a good thing we started here. It's a guy with a couple overlooking a set of plans on what appears to be their back patio. Very common, probably an alteration addition project, looking at making this house the absolute best house they can and the house of their dreams. No, this just doesn't happen. Don't even get your hopes up. Well, this bloke is probably me in about 40 years, but I don't think anybody's at a drafting board anymore. I think drafting boards have gone out the window a long, long time ago, so I'm surprised they still even depict architects as sitting down and drawing at an architect board. All right, this next photo is a surveyor standing next to what appears to be an architect. I don't know how many projects you have the surveyor out on unless it's a very, very large project. And usually I'd like to take a good stab in the dark at this photo and think it's the surveyor telling the architect where things need to go and not the other way around because at the end of the day, they're the ones that should be interpreting your drawings and understanding exactly where bits and pieces need to go. So the next one, again, pretty good indication of what an architect does from a day to day. It is sitting at a computer, drawing models, drawing 3D plans, and coming up with the vision that your client really, really wants. So that's actually a really good representation of what an architect does. This bloke, this bloke seems like he's gone through a bit. Got his model in front of him, big cup of coffee, pallet material around, desks, papers, brochures, the works. It looks like he's in for a long night and that's, that's common still. The model, not so much. We don't really model, well, we don't really physically model make too much anymore in architecture, especially if you're a smaller firm. The budget doesn't really allow for that. So if you're gonna charge a client to do a 3D model like that, that's gonna charge three, four days of work. It's probably, not worth it and you don't get enough value out of it. So that's probably a good representation of how stressed and busy we are, but not what we actually spend our time on. This next one is a really nice office, first of all. Doesn't happen. There's not a single desk in the random giant space filled with natural light, one very expensive couch in the background, and just a random person working at a desk. Maybe a home, maybe work from home situation. Seems legit, but not your general office. Presenting on an iPad with a pinup, again, probably not too common anymore, especially if you're presenting to clients, you'd probably have it up on a screen or just at your iPad or just on a printout. You don't actually pin up on a board per se too often anymore. So I know we're very used to that at university where you pin up, you present, you talk through your project. That doesn't really happen. So. That's probably more of a university level than an actual realistic level. This bloke just looks like he's made a very seedy deal in the back of some construction site. Now, one bloke's got a hard hat on, no vest, no goggles, no earmuffs. They're the bloke, no protection whatsoever. That's just real bad construction etiquette there. These two, I don't know what these two are doing. One lady is just pointing to a extremely outdated screen that's completely black. This bloke appears to be riding on top of a folder with what appears to be a Sharpie. There's two hard hats in the background, a measuring tape just thrown on the desk, a lamp that appears like it was bought in Ikea in 1912. That's the most outdated architectural photo ever. Just they've just thrown some architectural bits and pieces in there, no relevance. Now, one bloke standing with a set of plans on what appears to be a farm. Well, at least he's got his vest on, he's got his hard hat on, can't comment on the boots. Seems legit. I'll give him that one. Seems legit. Yeah, <laughs> this one, this is gold. This is how I feel 90% of the time. You go and finish something, somebody comes around and they just wanna change it, so you just wanna smash everything. That's, that's pretty fair. Two guys on a site, one guy holding his hard hat, so he clearly doesn't care, and he's pointing with his measuring tape to the drawing. I've been on a lot of construction sites, I've spoken to a lot of people, I've spoken to a lot of builders, not once has this happened to me. I could be wrong, it might happen, but 
but it doesn't happen. This one's just dumb. Like there's three people sitting inside a very clean office with hard hats on. I don't know. That's nope. Four people, construction site, hard hats. That's a bit better. This guy, this guy looks like Nabil. If you have no idea who Nabil is, I'm gonna drop his Instagram right here. He's a pretty like, I don't know, famous photographer, I guess. He's pretty good, but that's, that's Nabil. Inside hard hat, no though. So there's definitely some accurate information out there and some very inaccurate information. If you're looking to become an architect, do your research, understand what we do all day, every day, and see if you can do that because the perception of what architects do and don't do is very, very vast as we found out today. That's all for me today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. And as always, well, at least this month, I will see you tomorrow.